Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. My name is Jesper and in this series we're diving into CV tools within Ableton Live and in today's episode we're looking into CV triggers. I do have to thank both Ableton and Expert Sleepers for sponsoring this series. It wouldn't have been possible without them. Uh, that being said, let's dive right in, right? So CV tools um, were of course installed during the first video in this series. If you've got any questions about that, please review that first video. And if you've got any trouble or run into any problems, uh, drop me a line at jesper at the modular clubhouse.nl or just leave a comment below. So the CV triggers are just like the CV, tool, uh, CV instruments, an instrument within Ableton. So you can just drag them onto a MIDI, well, I like to call it a track, even though it's not a, necessarily a track. And what you can then do is you can actually map notes to specific, well, activities on your, well, DC coupled audio interface. So you have the option to, well, change the actual, well, uh, mapping from C or anything else. So I can say, well, I want that to be a, another note you can do that if you want you can then set whether it should be a gate or a trigger or a ping you can set the length of it in the case of a trigger and a ping you can set whether or not you want to send velocity information you can change polarity and you can then of course map it to the right audio interface and the actual output you might have so let's do just that. So I'm just going to map this to external out number nine. And if I then go down a few times, you'll see that we have C1 mapped indeed to the first audio output on the expert sleepers ES9. So right now I have velocity sensitivity uh, well checked. So if I press this really sh uh, shallowly, it will not burn as bright but if I press it harder you'll see that the actual light will burn brighter as well so we can then use that information anywhere you might want to of course so let's map oh, that one so I want to do that the right way C sharp number one and let's map that as a trigger to output number 10. So now we should have this one to that. So if we go back to the first one which is set up as a gate, if I hold the key down longer it will just keep on passing that information down. That's not the case for a trigger. It doesn't matter how long I hold the, well, the key down. It's just going to do one single burst of CV information, which is of course just, okay, I'm sending this voltage down. And of course this is now not velocity sensitive. So it's always going to be five volts for indeed 10 milliseconds. Then the third option we have is ping. And ping, you could say, well, you already have a an envelope there. So if I map this to, let's say, external aught number 10, sorry, 11, you see that we already have an envelope with a 600 millisecond delay. There you go. So that's quite nice, isn't it? So how do we then use that? Well, what, what I've done up until now is I've used the CV tools and CV triggers more specifically to trigger my, well, my percussion instruments of sorts. So I'm gonna patch the first one to the Tip Top Audio 1, it's a sample player. Grab the output and get that to my mixer. So if I now press this C1, will actually hear that being played so that's really nice and I can do the exact same thing 
for channel number two, which is of course then mapped to the C sharp. And I'm gonna do that with the Matalotron from Skull and Circuits. Map that to the fourth one there. And this is how you can then start to use your, your your simple MIDI keyboard and your modular system combined with Ableton Live as a well as a drum sequencer of sorts. And of course, everything that I've now done that I've done on the Arturia Keystep 37, a great keyboard by the way. You can also do that with a MIDI file and just play that. It doesn't matter. But keep in mind that if you've got a gate, it will be dependent on that. Uh, if you set it up as a trigger, you're going to lose all of that length information there too. So other than that, I think that this is exactly what you might expect from the CV triggers within CV tools. So I would say um, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Please stay safe, stay healthy. And I would like to ask everyone to like, subscribe and comment. And that's going to help the, uh, the channel tremendously. See you then. Cheers.